everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. I thought today would be a great day to share with you some of the changes that I've made in my kitchen. So I've put together a few spring-like displays and I'm really liking the way they turned out. So of course I'd like to share with you guys, maybe give you a little inspiration. Um, so I think I'm just going to do this vlog style today. Just a quick and easy little video and hopefully you will enjoy some of the things that I have done. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is my kitchen. I'm sure you've all seen this before and of course the lighting is not very good today. It is gloomy and not very nice out, but we're going to go ahead and do this anyways. So the first thing I did was add this little arrangement to my countertop and I think it is so cute. I have this vintage, like I think it's a pickle jar. It's got a little wooden handle and I just love it so much. And I just plopped in this... Um, bouquet that I picked up at Michael's. I love it so much. I love the flowers and it's got this little succulent in it. I bought it on sale at Michael's when it was like, they're normally $20 and it was only $10. So I thought that was a really good deal. I just think it's so cool because you just plop it in whatever you want and you've got a perfectly made bouquet. So well, that's cool. And then down below, I have this little milk glass container. I filled it with reindeer moss and then I put some speckled eggs in it. And then I needed something else to kind of fill in this um, cutting board that I have everything set on. So I decided to use this wooden spoon, added a little more reindeer moss to that, and then I have another speckled egg. I don't know if you remember this, but I have a tutorial on how I made this cutting board, and I just love it. I use it all the time, and it's also great for like this to like corral a little display, and I think it looks really nice. Moving on over here, I have a little display also. I found this wooden tray not too long ago at the thrift store, so I propped that up there. And I also found this bowl with this little metal base, which I think is so cool. And I just hold my fruit in there. And then I also picked up this little Pyrex. Is it Pyrex? Yep, it is Pyrex. I couldn't remember, sorry little mixing bowl. I thought it was so adorable. So I'll be using him around the around the kitchen, but for now he's just kind of sitting there to fill in that space. So above that I have these open shelves and I just added some paper to the back of the shelves. I think it looks very pretty and I'll be having a tutorial on that coming up very soon. So then let's see, what else have I done in here? Oh, over here behind the sink. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this very well, but I have these um, cement, what do you call it? Here, let me take it off over here so you can see it better. These little cement, um, what do you call these things? Planters that I picked up at Hobby Lobby not too long ago. I think they are so cool. And I just stuck some little ferns in there. So I have two of those sitting up here. One on each side of this little plate here. And then on the plate, I have just a little baby soup train or vegetable dish, whatever. I think it's a soup train because it does have the little soup ladle in it. So that is very cute. And then I just have everything sitting on this little wood table runner that I made. And I think the whole thing looks nice. Just a very simple display, which I enjoy on this little um, counter spot behind my sink. Moving over to this side of the kitchen, I have this IKEA shelf that I've uh, that I've had for a really long time. I absolutely love it. Love the little hooks on the bottom. It's just a simple, simple shelf. So I have decided on the top to display all the wood kitchen utensils that I have been collecting lately, and also the cutting boards that I have found. And not to mention, of course, I had to add some white into the mix. So I have some of the white dishes and such that I have found also. So let me just take you through quickly what I have here. In the back I have this cutting board right here and then 
this cutting board in the middle it's actually I believe a pizza or a bread board and this one over here is what I actually made myself so that kind of um, completes the little backdrop that I've made okay and then over here I have a bunch of tulips in this little jar right here this jar was actually made by my grandmother she was really into doing ceramics and stuff so she made this one for my sister it actually has these little cows on the front of it which I think are cute but I'm really not into that kind of look right now so I just switched it turned it around to the white side and then added some tulips to that and then down here is a wooden juicer that I found not too long ago at the thrift store and next to that is this little adorable teapot that I found also at the thrift store I just love this thing so much and then behind that is a wooden handled potato masher which I think is so cool and then in the middle here this is actually a flower planter but I thought it worked really well um, to hold some of my wooden items that I have found so I think this is so cool I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not but it's got this nice little scallop on the top and then the nice ribbing on the edges and if you can see I don't know if you can see that or not but it's very crackled which I think is absolutely cool so inside I put this small um, cutting board this one's really super thick it's got some markings on the side that I found at the thrift store not too long ago and then I tucked this in also this is another wooden handled I don't know what it is really but it works well so I stuck that in there and then I have a wooden spoon and this I think is a pastry roller or pie roller or whatever so I stuck that in as well so I think that looks very nice and then down here I have a wooden rolling pin which I have had for a really long time I think it is so cool I found that also at the thrift store years ago and then next to that I have this I don't know herb crusher I don't know what it's called but anyways it's very cool I thought it was neat picked it up at the thrift store also and then I really like the shape of the pedestal bowl that's also made of wood and then at the very end I have an ironstone dish and it holds my little cow from Target a little cow creamer so there you go that is what I have on the top I think it is so cool I'm liking liking the wood tones a lot lately so well, that is pretty fun I had fun with making that collection looking for items at the thrift store that's always fun so down below I have this wire trivet hanging and then I also have these candle holders I have one on this side and I have one on this side I'm not sure if they're going to stay because they kind of look a little cluttered to me just because the top is so full of stuff but for now that is what I'm going to use Moving on to the table, I have this little display set up here. And of course, it's going to be very difficult to show you. Let me see if I can take from this view. Here we go. So basically, first of all, I laid down this nice little crocheted runner that I have. Added a little bunny. I can't remember where I got this bunny from, but I've had it for quite a few years. Then I have a nice little scalloped edge tray. And then inside the tray, I put my vintage scale it's nice and rusty which I love so much I've had this for quite a few years I believe I picked this up at a flea market and then on top I put a laced edge napkin it's got some pretty flowers stitched on it and on top of that I put this very pale pink little cup and saucer and this little vintage silver spoon 
and inside the cup I put some more reindeer moss and one of those little eggs and I think that's a cute little display I'm liking that very much and then over here I have some pink tulips this time in a um, in a white pitcher and then down below I have some more speckled eggs reindeer moss in this cute little tray this little baking dish I think it is I'm not quite sure what it is but I found that at the thrift store also and thought it was super cool. thing I have to share with you is this area over here these little cubbies that I made not too long ago and I love to decorate it differently every season and I am loving how these turned out this season um, I went with like a garden theme and as you can see I just added a whole bunch of stuff that I thought was super cool and cute a lot of vintage items like this plate the little bunny and the garden tools are all vintage and I just think it turned out so cute and then down here of course another vintage plate and some vintage little bird cards a little flower some more reindeer moss and peat pots more white dishes and over here I have this vintage flower book a little bird, a little feather, and I really like how this whole thing turned out. I think it is so pretty, and I love it so much. And then down below here is our, don't mind this big old jumbled mess here, we'll just disregard this side. But over here I have a little plant that I picked up at Aldi, and I have it in this ceramic um, pot which I think is so cool. It looks like a basket weave. It's got little rings on the side And then I placed it on this little I guess you'd call it a rock trivet that I found at Michael's I think it is so cool So for right now I have that sitting there Then I have a little collection of vintage flower frogs that I have found over the years a little mini picture from the thrift, thrift store also and then of course a lamp because I like to have a lamp here. I turn this lamp on at night and then it lights up the stairs which are down here. Pretty much most of the kitchen enough to do whatever you need to do in the kitchen really. Just get in a little snack or something. And then I have the whole thing sitting on this weathered board that I made myself. And it has a little feet underneath if you can see that. But I love this little, I guess you'd call it a tray. And I use it here like almost all year I think you probably have seen that before there but I like it a lot so I think I should make myself a larger one but for now this one is working So those are the changes that I have made in the kitchen. Not a whole lot, but just enough to make the room look and feel fresh and new, which is making me very, very happy. So hopefully you enjoyed this video today. Thanks so much for stopping by. 
and hanging out with me. And I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye now.